summertime, down the Pepe's market, just the tourists, they, they come, they buy flowers. A long time ago, 1982, all uh, Hmong people and Ming people come from Thailand, if you can, and we are here in Seattle. I have my youngest son. I just take my little baby out here and <laughs> put on my bag and then work out the field. She would have a little sling, put me on her bag, and she'd be out in the fields pretty much all day. And I mean, pretty much as soon as I got old enough to walk, I was everywhere, you know. We didn't have a babysitter, so the farm was my babysitter. I'm a really old farmer, stay here for 35 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> farming, growing flower, make it for my living, for my children to use it, or learning to do farming. Uh, for generation and generation. I've seen how hard my folks work. I couldn't imagine us having no farmland. I mean, my life would be very different. This is my main gig. I'm either at Pike Place or I'm doing orders to flowers or I'm here at the farmer's markets. I never start the farm, I just keep going. I must stay here for a long time. I'm very, very happy, I really appreciate that.